G'day YouTube and welcome back to Perfecting Pete. So, uh, if you saw my last video, you'll know I've been away in the States. I've just gotten back. Uh, it's currently Tuesday and I flew home to Sydney on the weekend. Uh, and I put on a stack of weight while I was over there. So, uh, I thought this week we'd just do a general update um, as to where I'm at and what's next. Uh, but before we get into that, roll the sexy new intro. So if this is your first time on the channel, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, this this channel is really dedicated to um, my personal weight loss journey and all the tips and tricks I pick up along the way when it comes to fitness and health. Uh, so I've lost, well, we'll talk about that in a second, a little bit more detail, but I've lost uh, about 60 pounds or 25 to 27 kilos um, in my personal journey. Uh, and I've learned along the way that there is, there's probably more misinformation um, around than there is real information when it comes to weight loss. So this channel is dedicated to providing you with, with help, motivation and information uh, when it comes to your own journey in the hopes that um, tracking what, you know, my progress uh, might motivate one of you or, or some of you to get up off that couch and, and, um, and start working on your own journey. So thanks very much for joining us. If you get any use out of the video, please hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, and leave me a comment if you've got any feedback. I respond to every comment on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, if if you've joined me re uh, recently, you'll know that I went away to the US uh, for work. So I was in Washington DC for 11 or 12 days uh, for a work conference, which given my job, uh, I, I work with a sales team in a services company, uh, basically means that we waited until uh, the people attending the conference got out and entertained them. And by entertain them, I mean uh, provide them with copious amounts of alcohol, of which I must admit that I imbibed a little bit too much of myself. So, uh, not exactly consistent with my diet, with, with a healthy lifestyle. I've got to say that um, in the 11 days I was there, uh, you know, I spent quite a bit of time walking around in the first couple of days uh, going and visiting all the, all the monuments and I'll throw some photos up uh, while I'm talking. Some really cool stuff I saw in DC, it's my first time there uh, and it was really cool to see all of the, the monuments and memorials and, and you know, all the, the touristy kind of attractions, the, the, you know, American culture. It was kind of cool to see. So I'm really glad I went there. Uh, I walked, I think, 15 Ks or seven or eight miles. I might throw up a, a little text box just below me to, to confirm that. But um, I did a lot of walking in the first day. Uh, I did a lot more walking in the second day while I was vision, visiting all those monuments and Arlington Cemetery and all those other cool places. Uh, but then we kind of got stuck into the conference, which basically meant um, taking customers out every you know, every night and most lunch times and, um, you know, treating them to, to lunch or dinner. And, you know, we, we threw on a couple of, uh, of drinking nights. So it was, it was a lot of fun. I've got to say, I absolutely love the trip. Um, but at the same time, I put on like two and a half, three kilos. So, uh, now that I'm back, uh, I am jet lagged as hell. Um, you know, I'm a couple of days into recovering uh, from that and I've got to get up at 4 a.m. tomorrow morning to jump back on a plane to head to Melbourne so and I'm there for a couple of days again entertaining customers uh, which is undoubtedly going to involve alcohol and food that I wouldn't probably normally choose uh, although at least um, the types of dinners we do interstate uh, tend to at least involve using a knife and fork to eat so yeah while I was in the States I think I said to the guys towards the end of the trip you know I don't think we've sat down and used a knife and fork to eat a meal since we got here. So it was 10 days straight of eating burgers and finger food and stuff that really wasn't healthy. So I've put on a stack of weight. Uh, and I'm straight back into the thick of it now that I'm back in Sydney. So I'm in Melbourne tomorrow and the next day. Uh, next week I spend two days in Brisbane. It's just chaotic non-stop. So in terms of my plan at this point, um, Really, I need to find some time to get back to the gym. I need to find a better way to balance my intermittent fasting. It's really difficult to fast when you're taking clients to lunch. I'm not really sure what the solution is. So if you've got some ideas, throw them at me. Um, I read an article or I read something on, I think it was Facebook recently that basically said that if you're constantly making excuses that you don't have time to go to the gym, the only thing you guarantee is that you're not gonna make it to the gym. 
uh, and that people that are truly motivated make time. Now, I've got to say, I can relate to that. Um, you know, I, I struggle to find time to get to the gym. I struggle to find time to even sit down and have a meal some days. Um, but at the same time, you know, if, you, if you're doing a hell of a lot of travel, uh, it's, I'm kind of finding it really challenging. So at this point, um, yeah, I'm not 100% not sure what the plan is. Uh, I've got to get to the gym three times a week minimum to make it worth my while, really just to do a push session, a pull session and a leg session. Uh, really, you ought to be doing that a minimum once a week to get any real benefit out of it. And in terms of intermittent fasting, it's kind of hard to carry a two liter jug of water with some extra uh, additives to it. If you've seen my magic water um, recipe in a past video, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's kind of hard to carry a two liter jug of water on a plane. So uh, I think I think I need to come up with a plan and I will be doing it over the next 48 hours as to how I'm going to stick to a fast while I've got all this client stuff going on and all this travel going on because it's just at the moment, <clears throat> excuse me, my diet's kind of taken a nosedive over the last few months. And if I look at my weight loss, I lost a stack of weight in the first three months when I was fasting regularly, I was exercising regularly and it's kind of stabilized and it's been sitting at about the 90 kilo mark nonstop now for about three months. So almost as long as my, if I look at the, um, the graph of my weight, it took a nosedive for three months and then it's just flatlined for the next three. And then I went to the States and put on, <clears throat> excuse me, two and a half, three kilos. So, you know, I don't want to sit where I'm at. My, my goal weight's around the low 80s. So eight, between 80 and 83 kilos, that's kind of a goal weight. Um, and sitting at 90 wasn't acceptable and certainly having put on another two and a half kilos is, is even worse. So I really need to come up with a plan for how I'm going to fit fasting into a, a crazy lifestyle where I'm not always in control of, of when I eat um, and how I'm going to balance that out. So I need to sit down and give some real thought to it. So when I do figure out what I'm going to do, I'll come back and, and put it in another video. Um, that's really all I had time for today. It's just a general update. I'm conscious it's been a few weeks since I've thrown up a video and I've Hey, I've missed doing it, to be honest. Uh, I hit 70, 75 subscribers this morning. So thank you very much for all your support. Um, the next video I, I'm going to put out, I'm actually going to record early. So I'm not in a rush to kind of, you know, record and then throw it up on YouTube. But um, I do really want to talk about the, the psychology behind overeating. There's some really interesting information that I've, I've uncovered while doing some research for the video. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you soon. Anyway, that's all I got time for. As I said, it's a really short video for a change. Uh, if you, you know, if you like what you see, please hit that like button, subscribe to get regular updates. And I am releasing regularly and uh, drop me a comment if you've got any feedback or any ideas if you've struggled with trying to fit, uh, you know, an intermittent fast where you're only eating um, within like a four to six hour window a day, uh, trying to fit that into a schedule where you've got to entertain guests for a living then please let me know what you did to, to solve that problem because I'm really struggling with the challenge. I will come up with a solution, but if you've got anything to add, please leave me a comment. Anyway, until next time, I'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in.